This is Twit. Okay, so this is from Daryl Medley, and this is a vowel world word counter. So I'm going to click on his code right here. So it says enter any kind of sentence. So I'm going to say um, my favorite match operators include, um, let's see, substitute and match, period. And then you hit enter and it counts nice. all the vowels, all the words with vowels in them. So we have phi for A, Y, there's only one, which is my. And then down here, we also have it using a loop. Uh, and we pretty much get the same exact calculations out down at the bottom too. And then just to enter out, you just hit enter and it closes. So very, very simple. And I'll show you what the code looks like. There we go. Okay, so he includes tons of comments for us, which of is course. extremely nice. And then we run down here. We have a little loop, a main loop, and this one just had, just does yeah. until enter There's is There's your pressed. standard input. Mm -hmm. And then we scroll down a little bit farther. And there are our wonderful regular expressions. There we go. So we have a ton of regex used in here. It's super, super handy. And I love the fact that he included so many in here because it totally works with what we, we've been talking about on the show. Mm -hmm. So very cool code. Thank you so much, Daryl, for sharing that. I also wanted to share mine too. Yes, please. So this involves what we learned from Patrick last week. So remember when he told us that you don't only have to use Perl in a notepad, you can also do it via the command line. Yeah, the, the, he called this the most important thing you will ever learn about programming. Exactly. And if he was wrong, he was going to give you one of his bunnies. Now, the internet <laughs> came out and said, hey, give me a bunny, because I don't, I think you're totally but bogus. I there you go, there's the bunny. But uh, it actually is very useful. It's very useful because it takes something that we would typically only use inside of our developer environment, exactly. and it, it makes it a command line function, which is kind of cool. I'd say it's close to one of the most important things <laughs> you'll ever learn, but I still think Patrick owes me a bunch. It is pretty cool. And yeah, I can definitely see how this could be come in really handy, especially if you're working a lot and you need to use Perl code to search and replace things. So this is Perl Pi, as they call it. Uh, I discovered on my Windows computer, and I did some searching around on the internet, doesn't work exactly yeah, the same on Windows. Unfortunately. Surprisingly, we didn't get any uh, email feedback about this, but I did figure out that it doesn't work the same. So you'll put in, say, I'll put in my wildcard down here. And I tried this a series of ways before I decided to go search it on the Googles. And I had my colon right there. So it says can't find string terminator. So I changed it to that and then it wouldn't replace the um, the wildcard.txt. And I was like, what is going on? So it's a, apparently it's an Windows. issue with Windows it's because Windows. it's not Unix. It's Damn not it, like those nice Unix Stop programs. Stop letting me down. So <laughs> instead of dealing with that and trying to fix it myself, I was like, well, screw this. I'm going to go into my VMware player and I'm going to do it via Kali Linux. So I just got into Kali Linux and I decided to do it here. So I ls into the and then CD'd into the desk, desktop. I have three text documents over on the desktop. Uh, best websites, and this is just a series of um, SDR websites for Software Defined Radio. And then I have Software Defined Radio uh, listed a couple of different times in these different documents. So I have that. I have Hack 5 episodes listed where I have tutorials, beginner, intermediate, stuff like that. And then Know How episodes. Um, now, while you're looking for that, I will say that you can make this work in, in Windows. You just have to slightly change the, you do. the text. But don't learn it. The reason why we didn't show <laughs> it is because we don't want you to learn that because it doesn't work like that way that way on Linux it's a or pain Mac. In the butt. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt. It is. So, yeah. I'm, so I have my three it, note, notepad documents in here, and they all have software defined radio spelled out in each one. I want to change that to just say SDR. So, what I will do is write out Perl-PI, Perl-PI, mm -hmm. TAC-E, or dash E, and then I have S for substitute, uh, slash software defined radio. So it's looking for this string of text, that right. software defined radio, slash SDR, and it's gonna replace software defined radio with SDR, slash G for global, and that, that whole command, and then you just do wildcard.txt yeah, so to look for any that has a text, documents uh, a on tag. my desktop. Nice. So when I hit enter, it doesn't say anything in here, but if I go into, say, best websites, you'll notice that 
Up here it said software defined radio, now it says SDR. Uh, this one did not change because there's no spaces between software defined and radio, but it did change again down here. SDR is cool, yay SDR. And then same thing happened with my Hack 5 episodes, so these all changed to SDR for tutorial and all that stuff. So it works, it totally works in my Kali Linux machine, not so much in Windows.